Oh, it just gets a little bit better every day now, doesn't it? As we move into our 29th lockdown, because they are so effective, we have to ask ourselves, are we willing to continue to go along, to get along? We've reached a position in history where we no longer respect our Charter of Rights and Freedom in Canada that was paid for so dearly and bestowed upon us so graciously by our elders and our forefathers. Citizens that feel this Charter of Rights and Freedoms is important, that it preserves life, that it preserves health, are seen as selfish, seen as harmful to others, even though history tells us that this Charter is so, so important. In a world where the common refrain is, listen to the experts, we're so quick to dismiss the many experts that are speaking out against the common narrative, against the current path. So we have to ask ourselves, why are they not being heard? Why are we not hearing from all the experts? Why are the experts not allowed, as experts, to debate and to discuss the multiple ways forward that are available to us here in Canada? Well, most of us have a deep sense that this might not be about a health crisis at all. That perhaps it's about something different. If that's how you feel, follow your gut. Look around your community at the many initiatives involved right now to preserve real health, to support freedom, and to support society returning to a functional state. It's thoughts like these and other thoughts that will keep you on the right side of the grass.